Yo, what is up guys? It's your boy Badge Plug, and today, man, I got for you the Giannis Antetokounmpo Demigod build. Now, you guys have been asking me to do another NBA 2K21 giveaway. I already gave one away the other day on my Twitter, at Badge Plug. You guys can go check it out. A $100 edition. That's what I'm going to be doing again, okay? Xbox or PS4. If you want to enter in that, man, the last video, I'm looking at it right now, has 7,300 likes, okay? Get this one to 9,000, and when it does, I'll pick someone from the comments comment section down below so comment down below I have entered or something that you want in NBA 2k21 now even if you don't want to enter in the giveaway man I have spent hours and hours on trying to make this build for you guys and I finally found the perfect Giannis onto Takumpo build so guys this is not going to be a power for Giannis. Now, I'm going to show you guys the screenshots right here. Like I said, I went through hours and hours of research trying to make the perfect Giannis build. And if you make a 6'11 pure slasher, you only get a 78 driving dunk. So even when you hit 99.9 overall, you're not going to get elite contact dunks. All right, on to the next screenshot. If you make a 6'8 pure slasher, you get a 94 driving dunk with a 69 ball handling. But... You don't get as much three-pointer, you don't get as much defense, and on top of that, you don't get as much badges. So today, guys, I'm going to show you the best Giannis Antetokounmpo build in the game. Now, I want to warn everyone watching the video that this year's game, all the builds are basically buffed. So you cannot make a 6'11 Giannis build. You just can't. It's going to be a terrible build. Build. So the pie chart we're going to go with is the finishing and the playmaking chart. This pie chart right here is by far the best Giannis build. You get more badges and you get more attributes for your player. So the physical profile, you want the absolute most speed. Then when you get into the attributes, this is where you really can make a demi god. And like I said, guys, I've spent hours. I'm talking about six, seven, eight hours trying to find this perfect Giannis build for you guys. And I'm about to show you. So you want to upgrade all this. Every single one of these right here, you'll have 18 finishing badges. And in my notes, you guys are going to see why exactly I'm going with this exact setup for the amount of shooting badges. So mid-range all the way up, three-point all the way up, free throw all the way up. You want to get post fade to 57, pass accuracy all the way to 83, and ball handling to 70. Nine. Then you're going with perimeter all the way up, lateral all the way up, steal all the way up, offensive rebound to 40, and defensive rebound to 69. So right here, you guys see we have 28 plus 22, 50, 56 badges on a Giannis build. Now, the other one, a bunch of the other slasher builds I was trying to make had 36, 38, 34. They did not have a lot. This pie chart is going to help this build get so much more badges. Now, the ball handling is very important, and we're going to talk about that in just a second. But if you guys want to move the build around just a little bit, because you don't necessarily need 22 playmaking badges, but look at this 10 points is going to give you eight playmaking badges, so you might as well take that. Now, make sure when you guys are making a build that you go down in every single stat and you try to get a free one. Now, what I'm talking about is you're wanting a free attribute. So when you move down on defense, if it doesn't actually move your badge down, you get a free attribute point to put somewhere else, and you can try and get an extra badge. But this is the exact build that I made, and it's not going to change, guys. This is the perfect Giannis build, I mean down to the absolute one attribute. So once you get into here, body shape does not matter, but I'm going to go with build because that's probably what Giannis is. Now, like I tried to tell you guys, you can't make a Giannis build in this game. Like, look, six foot 10, you're going to get a 75 driving dunk. You need 84 driving dunk to get the regular contact dunks and 85 to get the elite contact dunks if it's like 2k20 which it probably is plus your ball handling goes down you're not going to be able to get tier 2 dribble moves your defense goes down in a lot of categories and then it's just there's no reason to make a six foot ten Giannis build it's just like last year but even worse guys 2k has toned down the builds and tried to make the game more realistic so last year it was impossible to make a Kevin Durant build you could not make a build six foot eleven speed boost you could make it look like a could speed boost with tier two driven moves but you could not get the 85 ball handling or near it with the pie chart and the speed that gives you a little bit extra to speed boost you just couldn't do it you could not make a 90 plus 3.6 foot 11 speed boosting hall of fame defensive badge build you just can't do it and this year it's the same with Giannis. so let me show you guys the perfect height now honestly the perfect height for this build is six foot seven as you guys see right here but if you're wanting a more realistic Giannis build because Giannis is like six foot ten or six foot eleven depending on his 
shoe size, you're going to want to go with six foot eight or six foot nine. It just depends on what you want to do. You will get more interior defense, better rebounding and stuff, and you will also get a 67 ball handling. So if 2K21 is like 2K20, which it most likely is, you're going to get 70 ball handling plus once you upgrade your player to 97, 98 overall, and that will give you good dribble moves. You do not want to make a slashing build under 70 ball handling because that's going to make you pick up the ball when you get touched, and it also does not give you a lot of good dribble moves. You're going to have the tier one dribble moves just like a big center. So for this build, I'm going with six foot nine. You just can't make a Giannis build. Now, if you want to make a really good build also the six foot seven is good but six foot nine you're going to be able to guard centers and power forwards a lot better especially if you're running this build at the two or the three whatever it is if you're playing threes if you're running this at the center you're going to want a six foot nine because six foot eight and six foot nine i don't know how to explain it it's just a big difference okay guys trust me this is going to help you a lot more you're going to get bullied a lot less now, you do get six less speed, so this is up to you. If you're running the build at the one, at the point guard position, or shooting guard if you're playing the twos as like some sort of slasher and corner shooter, you can go with six foot eight or six foot seven, but if you're playing at the two and you're wanting to make a Giannis build, the most realistic Giannis build, you're going with a six foot nine. Now, Giannis is 243 pounds on Google, so when you go to 243 right here, it looks really good, but you just wanna go one up so you get that extra strength, okay? One up and nothing changes, you get an extra strength. Now the wingspan is a lot different in 2K21. Let me show you exactly why you need to make a max wingspan and then go down one point. So a 90 wingspan. If you go to max, you're going to get a minus one on your ball handling, if you guys see right there. But when you go down one, it takes that off and it does not move your driving dunk. You still get the 82 driving dunk. And once you get to 98 overall on this build or 97 i forgot how it is i think at 95 you get a plus one if it's like 2k20 and 95 to 96 gives you a plus one in every attribute then 96 to 97 then you will be able to get tier two dribble moves at 97 overall plus your driving dunk at 97 overall you're going to unlock both contact dunks at 84 you're going to get the normal contact dunks and at 85 you're going to get the pure slasher elite contact dunks. so this right here absolute perfect Giannis build guys if you want to make the most realistic Giannis build this is it right here it's very hard to in 2k21 but this is it if you guys want to make a better Giannis build though and you want you don't really care about the height being you know close to what Giannis is in real life six foot seven or six foot eight is perfect because then you can run it at the one and just bully people or run it at the two if you play three sorry guys i tried to break down everything for you and i hope i did so you obviously want to go with the slash and takeover you know what i'm saying you want to go with that slash and takeover and dunk all over people because that's just what Giannis does and right here you have built a slasher i don't know why it has shades of Jalen rose gordon hayward the similarities this year are terrible i've been seeing the weirdest things now even if let's say your build is at 86 overall and you have the ball handling at 67 or you have it right here at 88 at a 67 overall ball handling you still are going to get to a 70 ball handling with one or two dunks or whatever you do as long as your takeover goes up your stats are going to go up so you won't get tier two dribble moves in a game but you're not going to be forced to pick up the ball when someone runs into you that's why tier two dribble moves are so important especially for a slasher because you do not want to be getting the ball picked up every time someone runs into you so 99 overall guys into the badges this is the most important part and this is exactly why i chose every single attribute the way i did so you're wanting hall of fame contact finisher hall of fame giant slayer i'm going with hall of fame slither because i'm trying to get by people that are trying to push up on me then i'm going to go with bronze fancy footwork because it's really not that good this year i don't think then i'm going with silver relentless finisher i'm going with bronze pro touch and silver consistent finisher this right here i think is the perfect badge setup for finishing in 2k21 you don't need to make a bunch of other things now like i said guys you can change the build up how you want if you want to make a pure slashing Giannis build you can take down that shooting attributes you can take down the playmaking because you do not need 20 playmaking but i figured you know Giannis is a playmaker now guys he is an mvp caliber player he can shoot threes he's not super efficient but he can shoot so 10 shooting badges is gonna do it for you gold green machine i'm gonna go with silver dead eye range extender on gold and then once you this is the reason why 
you have to do 10 shooting badges by the way guys it's because once you get those hot spots on your player you can get hot zone hunter and this is going to change everything you have a sit around the 63 pointer when you get those hot spots and you get those jump shot boosts you're going to be smacking threes with the help of hot zone hunter now in my last video there was like 20 comments saying mike wang said that you have to have a 75 plus three to shoot threes guys we went over this if the game comes out and it's really like that then it's like that and we will change up the builds a little bit but mike wang said himself when 2k20 right before it came out he said you're gonna need a sharpshooter to shoot efficiently in the game and that's not how it was okay guys i want you to understand that so we will see when the game comes out but for right now i'm going with the game is similar to 2k20 especially since it's the literally exact same pie chart so it's very nice to have hall of fame quick first step because that boy Giannis, he takes some big boy steps and you can't really replicate that in the game so that hall of fame quick first step is gonna do it for you trust me then you can have hall of fame dimer i'm going with silver floor general hall of fame ankle breaker unpluckable on bronze because people think that it works just like it does on hall of fame we'll see how it is in 2k21 space crater on hall of fame boys hall of fame and handles for days on gold so this right here not only are you going to have the 70 plus ball handling so people can't run into you and make you pick up the ball even if they do try to press you boom you space create break their ankles you can shoot after that you can drive in you can drive in and then step back you can draw a defender pass it to your teammate this build is disgusting guys it is absolutely disgusting now once you get into the defense like i said guys you can change it up a lot i'm gonna go with gold clamps and hall of fame or sorry gold rim protectors so you can change it up how you want but i tried to make the most realistic Giannis build that you possibly can in the game it's not really possible because Giannis would probably have hall of fame finishing hall of fame playmaking hall of fame defense and gold shooting but you just can't do that guys and he'd have so much better attributes and you just can't do it this year but this is the absolute best out of every single build I've looked at you're gonna get more badges you're getting more attributes you're getting more speed this is the build okay everybody make sure to drop a like if you have made it this far make sure to hit that subscribe button if you're new comment down below what you want to see next for the demo do you want to see a dribble tutorial do you want to see more builds what do you want to see guys i'll do it for you okay i promise hit your boy badge plug you've been plugged in and i'm out peace